Well, today I'm going to show you an electric tricycle, that's right, a trike, that may be the perfect gift for the woman in your life. Or is it? I really wanted to like this uh, e-bike when it came in and my wife was really looking forward to it because she loved the color of it and she thought it'd be really nice to have a basket on the back and be able to go out and go ride it and maybe do some grocery shopping with it and it kind of went downhill after it arrived now the box did come very well packaged or should I say the bike came very well packaged and here's the thing you have to assemble this bike 100% so imagine that you're taking a bike with hundreds of parts and you have to put it all together that's what this bike from moon cool is all about now at least the frame was pre-welded when it came so that's always a good part but we'll touch on the frame welding here a little bit later on so now let's get some of the specs out of the way of this moon cool electric tricycle now the strike has a front hub motor with 350 watts of power a 36 volt 10 amp battery that is removable it has a seven speed Shimano shifter, dual disc brakes that are manual, not hydraulic. It has three levels of power assistance, which can be utilized while you're pedaling, or you can just use a thumb throttle. Now the advertised top speed on this bike is 15.5 miles per hour, but you have to be very, very careful because when you're doing turns or doing sharp turns, since it is a three wheel trike, it will have the propensity to tip over very, very easily. This bike has 24 inch tires and comes weighing in at 70 pounds. It comes in five colors and it has a handy basket on the back for shopping like I was telling you that my wife would probably really enjoy. Now let's talk about the assembly process. You have to put everything together. And I mean everything. Now I've built a lot of bikes during my youth but this took me over six hours to put together and the instructions that come with this bike are terrible and that's me being nice. They had missing parts, missing bolts, which made this a lot more challenging to put together. But luckily I have a lot of bolts in the garage, so that wasn't that big of a deal. So all this sounds really good with all the specs, but there is one big issue. Well, there's a couple of issues, but there's really one big issue. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, and by the way, if you're new here and you like uh, tech product and you like reviews, Hey, consider subscribing, give the video a thumbs up because it does help this channel a lot. Now let's get to the video example I was talking about. I really don't like doing negative reviews. I mean, I really, really don't. But this is something that is just so crazy about this bike. I mean, I spent all this time putting it together. And by the way, the instructions are terrible for this bike. But put it all together and the frame is bent and what i mean by that is this whole section here and i don't know if you can see it if you're looking down this way you can see that this starts to bend to the left and this is also bent off of the main frame here which is a shame because i've done everything possible and I can't help it that it was stuck in the jig incorrectly when it was welded because it is crooked. And what I mean by crooked is when you get on it, it leans to the left really, really hard and there's no way to fix it. And it makes it unrideable. My wife got on it and almost fell off of it. And I'm just gonna show you roughly what it looks like riding on this thing. So we'll get on the e-bike. Let's see how this works. Just so you can see how ridiculous that this is. Also, sometimes you have to turn it off and turn it back on because the motor engages and as soon as it does, it turns off. So with the uh, Hover X1 following me, you should be able to see how I'm leaning on this thing. And this thing is like really, really, really just really sketchy to ride. 
I mean, if you're doing a little bit of a right hand turn, what happens is it uh, will want to just tip you over left because it's leaning so hard left. So the only safe turn to do is a right hand turn. And since it's a three wheel tricycle, you have to slow it down whenever you're turning. Otherwise you will tip over. And I really don't even want to see what the max speed of this is, but let's just see for giggles here. On three. I'm gonna go out into the street and get a head start. And you gotta slow it down, otherwise you're gonna fall off. All right, full speed. Let's see what we get. Seventeen kilometers. Don't know what that equals out to, but I am leaning to the left here, which is just ridiculous. I mean, it really, really is. So as you can tell, I'm a real big fan of e-bikes, just like the one bot here, which has been a great performing e-bike for me. But I want to show you something on this moon cool. So I put the level here just to actually show how unlevel that the bike is. So if you look at the rear, the rear is actually nice and level. It's the main frame here that is out of level. So I put the level up on top of the handlebars and I want you to be able to see how far out of true that it is and how far I've got to raise it. So I've got to raise it approximately, I don't know, what is that? Probably a good inch before it becomes level. And that's a big deal when it comes to e-bikes because it's very difficult to ride when you're leaning to the left like that. So for me, having to completely assemble this bike with very bad instructions, missing bolts and all that, I think is ridiculous considering that it comes in at $999. But you know, I really wouldn't be that hard on this bike if at least the build quality, the quality control at the factory was good because obviously there's a problem with the welding and how they set that up in the jig because it is, as you saw in the leveling video, it's about an inch, inch and a half off so it leans pretty hard to the left. So is this electric e-bike tricycle for Mooncool worth it? Uh, for $999, it's a big no for me. Uh, I think that when you have to assemble a bicycle, basically 99% of the bicycle you have to put together. And considering that the frame is flawed the way that it was welded, which when it has that type of lean makes it very, very dangerous and totally unusable. So for me, it's a hard pass on this one. Uh, I'll put a product link in the description below if you want to dare get one. Hey, knock yourself out. Because it does look good, but unfortunately it doesn't perform as advertised. So uh, that's it for me, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye-bye.